so today we are going to solve the questions from the chapter exponents and powers and in this video i have taken a very uh, basic questions so that your concepts gets clear so let's start so now here generally people make mistake like uh, here find the value of 5 raised to power 4 right and here another is minus 5 raised to power 4 right minus is inside the bracket and here we have minus outside and 5 raised to power 4 so here you can see there is a very little difference between these questions so let's see first find the value of this exponent 5 raised to power 4 here we all know 5 is base and 4 is the exponent so when we have to find like this so we multiplied the base repeatedly the exponent times here exponent is 4 so 5 will be multiplied repeatedly 4 times right so base is 5 and we are multiplying 5 4 times so when you multiply 5 4 times 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 will get the answer 625 now here you can see the base is minus 5 so what we are going to multiply the base we are going to multiply that is minus 5 4 times so 5 is being multiplied here 4 times now we did one property of this any number if the number is negative suppose a is any negative number and the power of that number is even so when we multiply this number minus a even times the answer will be always positive right so if you have not watched my previous video uh, laws of exponents so please do watch that video now here same way minus 5 this is a negative number and the power is even so the answer will be in positive right so 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 will get 625 because the power is even so here the answer will be in the positive if suppose the power will be negative instead of 4 if it would be minus 5 raised to power 3 then answer we will have got in negative now here in the next minus is outside the uh, bracket right so here minus is not being multiplied only the base is 5 so we are multiplying 5 only 4 times minus is outside the bracket right so when we multiply the, this minus will be here we'll put it and 5 if you multiply 4 times you will get 625 so did you see here it was minus here so we have taken minus out, uh, outside the bracket and here minus was inside with the with 5 so it it is being multiplied with 5 minus 5 into minus 5 into minus 5 into minus 5 so here express minus 27 by 64 in power notation power notation means in the exponential form we have to write this number so we have to express 27 in the num in power of some number Right, so what we can do here, if we can find the prime factorization of 27, 3 9s are 27, 3 3s are 9. So we can write 27 as 3 into 3 into 3. Right, so this minus is here outside and 27 can be written as 3 into 3 into 3. Same way if we can find out prime factorization for 64. So we will divide like how we find the prime factorization for uh, uh, when we find the SCF. So same way we will divide here. 2 4 is a 8. 2 2 is a 2. So we can write 64 as 2 raised to power 6. Right. 64 can be written as 2 raised to power 6. But here we have written 27 as 3 uh, 3 raised to power 3. So if we can write 64 in uh, power 3 with, uh, with some numbers power 3. So here you can use a law 64 equals to 2 raised to power 3 or you can write 2 raised to power 2 whole raised to power 3. So this is nothing but 2 raised to power 6 only and 2 raised to power 2 is nothing but 4. So you can write 4 into 4 into 4 will give you 64. Right. So here it is 3 raised to power 3 and denominator 4 raised to power 3 will give you 27 by 64. Now using the law you can write 3 by 4 whole raised to power 3. So we can write minus 27 by 64 as minus 3 by 4 raised to power 3 in the exponential form. 
Now we have write the reciprocal of minus 4 raised to power 3. So let's see first what is reciprocal. Suppose a by b is a non-zero rational number. So what will be the reciprocal of a by b? It will be b by a. Same way, what is the reciprocal of 4? So we can always write 4 as 4 by 1 with the denominator 1. So what is the reciprocal of 4 or 4 by 1? It will be 1 by 4. So now we have to find the reciprocal of minus 4 cube. So we can write minus 4 as minus 4 by 1. Now whole raised to power 3. They both are the same thing. We have just put the denominator 1. Now what is the reciprocal? What is the reciprocal of minus 4 raised to power 3? So reciprocal will be 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 whole raised to power 3. So this will be the reciprocal of minus 4 cube. Now let's take the another example. Find the value of 34 power 0 plus y raised to power 0. Now we know that any number, any number raised to power 0, the answer will be 1. We have done this property in the in our previous video. Right. So number can be anything. So what is 34 raised to power 0? 34 raised to power 0 will give you 1 plus what is y raised to power 0? Y can have any value. Y can take any value. So if the power is 0, it will ultimately come as 1. So now 1 plus 1 will get 2. Right. Now we have the next question. Simplify 5 raised to power 4 into x raised to power 10 into y raised to power 5 whole divided by 5 raised to power 4 into x raised to power 7 into y raised to power 4. They, they are in multiplication. So this is this will be considered as one term. Right. So denominator will get cancelled with the numerator. We can get it cancelled. Now we are left with x raised to power 10 and here down we are having x raised to power 7. So you, we have learned one property a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n when the bases are same here base is a and denominator also we are having a base a itself so this will be a raised to power m minus n right so same way x raised to power 10 divided by x raised to power 7 we can always write it as x raised to power 10 minus 7 right same way so into y raised to power 4 and y raised to power 5 divided by y raised to power 4 will be y raised to power 5 minus 4. So what is 10 minus 7? So it will be x raised to power 3 into y raised to power 5 minus 1 is 1. So y raised to power 1 is nothing but y. So we'll get the answer x cube into y. So here in this question we have to find the value of n. 6 raised to power 2n plus 1 divided by 36 equals to 6 raised to power 3. Now generally these kind of question where you have to find the value of n. You can see here we cannot see any law which we can use over here right. So we can always reduce 36 as 6 raised to power 2. 6 raised to power 2 can be written as 36. So these kind of question first just convert this. If you will write 6 raised to power 2n plus 1 divided by 6 raised to power 2. We can always write 36 as 6 raised to power 2 is equals to 6 raised to power 3. Now when you will write this, now you can see we can use a law over here. What is the law we have done? a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n. When the bases are same and they are in the division, one is numerator, one is denominator or in the division we can write a raised to power m minus n. So this is also in the division okay you can it write either you can write it from here itself or you can first write in the division like this in the numerator and denominator then you can put the value now you can use the law a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n as a is base that is 6 m minus n so here m is 2n plus 1 minus n n is this 2 so minus 2 equals to 6 raised to power 3. Now if you will solve it, 2n plus 1 plus 1 minus 2 will be 2n minus 1 equals to 6 raised to power 3. Right, so here we use this law. Now here we have to find the value of n. So again we can use another law here. 
the law is when the bases are same we can equate the powers okay so what we can do here bases are same here we are having base 6 and here also 6 so we can always equate the powers so what is the power on the left hand side we have 2 and minus 1 and the power on the right hand side we have 3 right so we can equate it we can write 2n equals to 1 will go that side it will become plus 1 so this will be 3 plus 1 is 4 so we will have n equals to 4 by 2 that is 2 so we will get the value of n as 2 so we have solved for n so that's it for today if you have any queries do let me know in the comment and please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.